And this guy's pretty interesting. And he says, you know, John, most people today, they get stuck in one frame. They have one thing that they want to do. And what I'm finding constantly is I want to find a way to kind of expose more surfaces. I could go into the way our food system actually works in our body so that I'm not too narrow focused. So I'm prepared to hear things that may not seem immediately relevant right away, but I'm still wanting to kind of listen to them and appropriate them. Um, because if you have only one surface, then basically what happens is you actually kind of don't get much out of these knowledge flows um, unless you're kind of willing to think a little bit out of the box. And in the corporate world, what I find over and over again, and this shouldn't be a problem that you guys have, is how do you get out of your comfort zone? So what Jack does every year as he goes to at least one conference that he knows nothing about. The first day in that conference, he sits in the conference, he learns the technical terms, he learns the great kind of the, the, the scope, the, the shape of the ideas and so on and so forth. Um, the second day, he hangs out in the corridors, just listening to conversations. And the third day, he actually starts to actively participate with people, practicing kind of how do you talk, how do you think about things, but now bringing his broader perspective to this game. Now, you guys know Jack. You may know Jack. At least you know some of the things he's done. So Jack shows up at the Aspen Festival, I mean, Aspen um, Roundtable in um, uh, the Aspen Institute, and he decides to drop in on energy. He knows nothing about energy, but the third day he realizes, man, this is a serious problem. Uh, I want to get engaged. And so he creates what he calls now the Carbon War Room, which you can go on the web and see. And he talks a dozen incredibly powerful entrepreneurs, one being uh, Richard Branson, to join and attracts enough attention through creating these beacons, he calls them, uh, that kind of people can now start to discover, to say, if you have ideas of a certain kind, come talk to us. And so he went from this serendipitous encounter to now shaping a space that started to attract and pull relevant people to him uh, to make something happen. And you know him for two things. If you come from New York, he pulled together the resources and the people to create and to get Mayor Bloomberg to put in the hybrid taxi ruling that says by the next four years, basically half the taxis or something like this have to be hybrids. Um, and you also know the cash for clunkers program. Uh, that was his that came out of the carbon war room by attracting again the right set of people to help him make that happen. 